Good morning-ish. It's kind of still morning. Something you might learn about me throughout this 12 looks of Christmas process is I usually don't get ready at like the butt crack of dawn. So <laughs> here we are. But I am excited for this look. Um, this is actually one of my favorite things that I kind of do just whenever I want a fun pop of color. I feel like you can do this look and look super classy and like you tried really hard with basically any pop of color with it. So we're doing red um, today, you know, cause Christmas, but you can really do this with any color. Um, I'm gonna start by doing my lips cause I feel like I look real weird on camera <laughs> with no lips on. So I'm gonna start with doing my lips. Um, a couple things I always do to my lips is I always get, I highlight my little, little lines here a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to use crystalline to do that today. Um, but I just take my smudger brush and I do a little highlight like this. Cause I actually really have, I have a really small upper lip, so I like to try and make it look bigger. So I do the little lines and then I do the cupid's bow like that, which it looks like real strong right now. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make it a tiny bit stronger. And then I use this matte color right here that's almost my skin tone and I do a little bit of contouring on the sides of those lines just like that and then I'm going to take my um, powder brush and just blend it a little bit so that's how I make my lips look like they actually exist <laughs> Now, I'm going to do a little fun thing with my red lipstick. So, um, I want the exact same color of red here as I did on my lips, like the same tone. So, that's something you want to watch. So, I'm actually going to be using red lip liner and then also some eyeshadow to do this red under my eye, which I'll show you in a couple minutes. But for my lips, I'm going to use the red lip liner. Um, I thought about using, like, the new liquid matte, like the Red Alert, but it doesn't go as bright red on me. So I'm going to show you with the lip liner, but I also wanted it to have a little bit of a shimmer and shine to it. I didn't want it to be completely matte. So I'm actually going to take Light Beam Liquid Eyeshadow, and I'm going to put some on my lips before my lip liner. So, just like that. To give my lips a little shine. And now we're going to do the lip liner over top of it. Hopefully I did enough that it'll show through. Um, I also like to use that the liquid eyeshadows over top a lot of my lipsticks. It makes them really, really pretty. But we're going to try it underneath. And do some blending. Okay, that's so pretty. I don't know if you guys use our lip liners normally, but it has this nice like sheen to it, which it doesn't normally have if you don't put the liquid uh, eye color under it. This is my side of my lip that I go off of. So I always go on the Cupid's bow like I do one side then the other side. I should really start with this side all the time though because I... I actually don't have much of a top lip line and I had a big mole removed off of my lip on this side so I just have to make sure my liner goes over top of where that scar is so that doesn't uh, show as much. So I just notch everything to that side. Oh, it's so pretty! Okay, this might be a new favorite way to do red red and if you have a problem with your red always like feathering use lip primer and then that will help so pretty
I'm always extra careful with red because I feel like red lipstick can get everywhere. Uh, and then it's just everywhere and you can't do anything about it. So I always like super careful. Oh, that's so pretty with that eyeshadow under it though. I usually do the eyeshadow over top, but I was like, I got to do it with it underneath this time. And I'm really, I'm really happy about it, actually. My lips are actually different shaped on both sides of my face, like I have a crooked face. So that doesn't help either. Now, if you're that person that's like, I hate all red lipsticks, I've never liked red lipstick, I can't do red lipstick, I would say the best thing you could do is find a red lipstick with a blue undertone. So Mary Kate only has one with a blue undertone. I'm forgetting which one it is. Um, but most red lipsticks have more of like that orange, pink, red undertones. But some lipsticks have a blue undertone. So for example, my favorite pink lipstick is Love Me Pink. And that lipstick has a blue undertone in the pink. So sometimes you just have to try a lipstick with a different undertone. And that's what's going to make you be like, oh my gosh, I love this lip color. So if you're like, I can't do reds, like that's pretty, but I can't do reds. Maybe try a red with a blue undertone. That's my biggest tip on red lipstick. Because usually... That's the case. And then when you try the one with the blue undertone, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the eye makeup, which is actually super simple and easy. I think you guys are gonna love it. Um, I think it might be Scarlet Red. I mean, I don't wanna say for sure because I'd have to look at it. I can tell by looking at it. <laughs> I think it might be Scarlet Red though. You could be right. Um, okay, so this eye makeup look though is so easy. I feel like anyone, anyone can do it. Um, and then you all will just look like you're just totally the best. <laughs> and like you super tried, but you it's really not hard. So I'm gonna start with eye primer. Um, obviously I have like the rest of my makeup on, you know, my foundation, my concealer, my eyebrows, all of that. So I have all of that on. Um, usually I do my eyebrows after I do my eye makeup, but I just wanted to express my emotions to you guys in this video. So I put them on. Um, but I'm gonna put eye primer all over my eyelid. Just like this like all the way up to my brow because I do put product all the way up to my brow and then we're gonna take the all-over color brush and we are gonna start with sunlit rose so it's this pink sparkly color over here I wish I was showing you a palette that was absolutely perfect but this is the one I use for my actual face so you get to look at all my partially empty ones um, but yeah so sunlit rose it's this guy over here I'm gonna use the all-over all color brush it off so we don't have a bunch of excess and I'm gonna get it like in my crease and blend it out into my outer corner and I'm gonna bring this one all the way to about here so right before I'd say like this little circle right here if you put a tiny circle right here this is like your inner inner corner right so you're gonna come right up to the edge of that inner inner corner with that sunlit rose and it's amazing how much a soft like slightly pink color it becomes like a neutral with the red but it still has like the right tones with the red which I really really love you could do it with a like a brown if you wanted to but I think that little bit of pink actually makes it look really really fun now the key anytime that you are doing um, your eyeshadow is that whatever your crease color is you want it to pop up where you can see it a little bit when you're looking straight on in the mirror so for some people it feels like you're coming really high um mine kind of feels like that sometimes because i actually have pretty deep set eyes i just know how to do my makeup to make people not notice <laughs> that they're deep set but we're just blending 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 okay so that was the sunlit rose now we are going to switch over to um, rose gold, which is this one right here. Rose gold is like one of my all time favorite colors. I feel like everyone, everyone needs this color in their life. So we're going to put this all over the main eyelid, like the rest that we haven't touched yet and blend it into what we already did. Now, if you want to make it really pop, you can lick your brush a little bit, you know, wet it slightly. 
if these are your makeup brushes you use on other people or you're doing someone else's faces face please don't lick your brush use finishing spray <laughs> but if it's your own you know lick away <laughs> Now, if you want to really make it pop, you can actually take that liquid eyeshadow in Light Beam. I just put it on the back of my hand as a palette so that I can get just a little bit of it in my brush. And then you can like stipple that over top of what you already did. And that will make it like really shine and pop. I just love those liquid eyeshadows. You can put them like underneath or on top of basically anything to make everything look even better. Okay, so now I am going to take, um, I'm actually right now, I'm mixing a little bit of Sandcastle and Biscotti um, for the color, like my blending color that I do up to my brow because that's basically what my skin tone is right now. So I'm just blending up to my brow so that's a nice smooth transition. And then I'm wiping off my brush and then blending that pink, that sunlit rose that we did first, just a little bit, because you don't ever want like harsh lines between your colors. So now we're gonna switch over to the, is this one called the smudger brush too? Smudge brush, I think that's what it's called. Some people in the makeup world call brushes like this their finger brush because it's kind of like using your finger. <laughs> So we're gonna switch over to this brush right here and we are gonna get some gold status So it's right in here. You can't see it very good. It's a gold shimmery color I'm gonna get that on my brush and I'm gonna do this inner corner right in here and then To really make it pop we're licking the brush again. I know germaphobes are probably like Ugh. Okay, licking the brush and then to really, really make it pop, I'm gonna get a little bit of Moonstone, which is this, like, it's got a little bit of gold undertone, but it's still kind of creamy. And I'm gonna put that in there. So then we're really highlighting that inner corner of the eye. Now, before we get to the fun red, we're gonna do um, the black eyeliner. And I'm gonna use the gel because it's my favorite. Hopefully I do better on this eye than my other one. I have been struggling with the eyeliner recently. So I always draw my guide first. So coming off the corner of my eye at the same angle as my bottom waterline. And then I'll come in on top and fill that whole area. There we go. Get some more. One of the tricks is not getting too much gel on your brush, then it's a problem. <laughs> then you just get it everywhere like I did on my video yesterday. And I'll always tell you, you're not supposed to stretch your eyelid out like me. This is one of those do as I say, not as I do type situations. Do what I'm doing, but without stretching your eyelid out, okay? It's looking so good. Do you ever like get done with your own makeup or doing someone's makeup? And even though you know you're really good at makeup, like you get done and you're like, dang, I'm so good at my job. Because <laughs> I do that all the time. Sometimes brides will be like, um, is it like, is this a surprise? Like, is this your first time? I'm like, no. I just get really excited for you when your makeup looks amazing. It'll probably happen again today. I have a bride today that I'm really excited about. Okay. Eyeliner, guys. It just has to be perfect, you know? I think I got them the same. They look pretty, pretty similar here. Okay. I'm going to stop before I, like, make it worse. Because, you know, if you get too into it, it's like when you're trying to fix your eyebrows over and over. And then the next thing you know, you have, like, monster eyebrows that cover your whole face. <laughs> Totally happens. <laughs> okay, so before I do the bottom, I'm actually gonna glue my lash on and then I'll show you the red. So um, I have learned with my lashes recently because 
if you know me, you know I have super short, stubby, straight, blonde eyelashes. Um, and they were kind of like not hiding in my glue, like my false lashes as well as I like them to. So I've started, I'll just come in and I'll just do like one little pinch to make them curve up just a little bit. Um, and then I'll do a very thin coat of mascara. My favorite mascara is the Fana, um, the Fanorama mascara. It is like, it's, it's our best mascara in my opinion. It just does everything so good and it stays on so good. So if you can't get Fanorama, Fanorama, however you say it, if you can't get that one, then Lash Love is a close second. I just don't love the brush as much, but the formula is actually the same. So that's why my bottle looks like this. This is a Lash Love bottle with a Fanorama brush on top because we ran out of them. <laughs> now I bought more, but... That's what I did. Um, so I've been doing that to my lashes just so that they hide in my false lashes better. You can play with it. Sometimes I do my mascara, like a small coat of mascara after. Most of the time currently I do it before. It's kind of up to you. Um, this is the Ardell Wispy Lash. And I, my favorite glue is the Ardell, um, like the dark lash glue. So it goes on gray and it dries like black, black. And I like that a lot better than cl the clear. Just because the clear, if you don't have eyeliner on and you don't do it really well, you can see like the notches where you can see that it's like the false lashes. But if you use black lash glue, it creates like that extra perfect black line. So it's just like your eyeliner looks amazing. So that's why I like, that's why I like the black lash glue. And I use Ardell dark glue rather than duo because I've just never been a huge duo fan. Um, it stays on really good. Duo is fantastic. Like your lashes will stay on all day, but also if you don't use eye makeup remover to take it off, it will like yank your actual lashes out because it's such a strong glue. Whereas the Ardell one, like I can just gently peel my lashes off without using eye makeup remover. And then I can use each lash like 10, maybe 15 times, which is awesome. <laughs> so that's why I like the Ardell one. And now this little tacky, we're gonna put on. So I always come in and I kind of put it in the middle. I touch it down so it sticks, if it's tacky enough. And then I'll use my tweezers and come, this is a really weird angle to try to show you on the camera. And I'll touch down my outer corner and then I'll come touch down my inner corner. Then I'll open my eye and see where I'm at. So I actually need to scoot this one out just a little bit to match my other side. So I just use the tweezers to like push it inwards, downwards, really close against my lash line. And then I'll actually come in with my fingers a little bit and make sure it's super tight against my lash line. And voila, we have lashes. There you go. And then I actually go like this and I kind of pinch my inner corner together, like my la actual na lashes with my false lashes, um, just to make it like super tight. And then because the Ardell glue isn't too harsh, like I was telling you, um, it'll kind of, actually the glue will stick to my lashes a little bit, which I like because it's, I've never had I've never pulled out any of my natural lashes with my lash glue um, because I use the Ardell one and I like pinch it together so it's like really crisp and clean like you wouldn't, people are like, are those your real lashes? You have lash extensions? I'm like, no, I glue them on every day. <laughs> okay, now your lashes are on. Now let's do the fun red. Okay, so I'm gonna take the red um, lip liner and you're gonna do it all the way along your bottom lash line and then I brought it out a little bit into where my liner is now you don't have to make sure that that's like super perfect like perfection putting it on because we're now going to take our smudger brush okay and we're going to get um pomegranate which is this gorgeous red color I love this color so this is pomegranate eyeshadow and you're going to blend that lip liner with the pomegranate eyeshadow. Like small little 
motions and this does a couple of things first the pomegranate eyeshadow is helping set that lip liner because lip liner doesn't go like dry 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 if that makes sense so it's setting it but it's also like blending it so you get that nice smoky look rather than um oh I went a little darker on my second eye Hold on, now I have to make this one brighter, guys. This eye turned out so much brighter. Okay. There we go. You can't be more bold on one eye than the other, you know? It's just, that would not be okay. There we go. That matches better. Okay, but then you get that smoky look instead of, like, a harsh line. Because we don't like harsh lines. Now that I have that on there, I'm gonna take my um, powder brush that I do my translucent powder with, and without adding anything, I'm just gonna go like this underneath the bottom and kind of blend it a little bit. Okay, so there's your pop of red, and then we're gonna do just a little bit more detail with that gold on the inner corner here, because you really want that to pop. So I'm gonna get some more gold status mixed with moonstone, and we're gonna bring it and blend that inner edge of the red that we did and then I'm gonna get the teeniest tiniest bit of crystalline and I'm just gonna pop it right right there right in the inner corner to really make it pop um, I also want to do a fun highlight on my brow so I'm gonna mix some um, gold status and moonstone and a tiny bit of crystalline to just do right up by my brow up here to give it a little shine don't look too closely I have not had my brows waxed in like two years because I moved back to Colorado and I never found someone to wax my eyebrows. It's really terrible. I just draw them where I want them because I'm blonde and then I just stay really far away so you guys can't tell. <laughs> okay, so final touch. You want to do some black liner on your bottom lid because when you put, I mean, you want to have that separation a little bit because if you put red or pink like on your waterline it actually makes your eyes look kind of bloodshot and then they get weird so you want to put a barrier of some sort so i'm gonna do black because that's what the picture i was kind of copying did so i'm gonna do black and i'm just using our pencil because our, or our crayon because this one works so good and then i don't like my black to be too harsh so right after i put it on before it has a chance to dry all the way i kind of go in and smudge it with my finger so it's a little bit softer of a black and then the last thing i'm going to do for the eyes will be a little coat of mascara but i just realized i didn't do this cheek so my glowy cheeks today are brought to you by this cheek color i keep forgetting its name it's like copper something Someone tell me. It's this pretty one right here. It's really gold and awesome. So I'm just going to put on my cheeks, blend it out. When you're doing your cheek color, the rule of thumb is if you were to push your two fingers against the side of your nose like this, you should never come closer to your cheek than the outer edge of like this, your second finger. So that's kind of your rule if you want your cheeks to look their best. So I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm going to use our highlighter. I'm going to use this brush. This was a limited edition holiday brush, and I love it for highlighting. Um, I'm going to use our lighter highlighter. I think it's called, like, Honey Glow or something. I rarely use it because I'm such a pasty white girl usually. I'm a little bit more tan right now, so I can kind of use it. Like, we need a pasty white girl highlighter. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but I just put on this brush and then lightly blend like this. We'll probably do just a little bit on my nose because that's that's cute. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more right right there. And then I always blend it out. I'm a blending fanatic. I just gently blend what I just did. And now we'll do our little coat of mascara on the bottom. And while I do that, my trivia question for you for the day is, what is the name of the movie with Turbo Man? It's a holiday movie. It's my husband's favorite. It's all about Arnold Schwarzenegger hunting down a Turbo Man doll. So name that movie. And then we always finish with finishing spray. Oh, this one's almost gone. I might just, I have clumps of finishing spray on my face right now. 
Guess I need to go grab a new one. But there you go. That is our holiday look for the day. So if you try it, I want you to send me a picture or tag me because I really want to see it. This is, it's seriously one of my favorite holiday looks because it's so easy and it's so pretty. And seriously, try this with your lipstick. Put liquid eyeshadow first and then put your lipstick on. It's so good. Hope you guys have an awesome Saturday. I have so much to do today, but now I look fabulous. So I was going to say you're welcome, but it's you're welcome to me, I guess, for deciding to do holiday looks. Otherwise, I would have been in my sweatpants all day working. So <laughs> there you have it. Have an awesome day. See you tomorrow.